Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amit. Today we are going to answer this question. If uh, we create a temp table in SSIS package and we want to use it in another task or tasks, which property do we need to use? So let's go to SSDT and uh, I'm going to show you which properties do we need to use them. First of all, we have execute SQL task and then uh, in this execute SQL task, we create a temp table. And next, uh, what we have here, we have a data flow task here. And that's where we want to load the data. And uh, we are going to load data to temp table. Now, first of all, when we build this uh, whole package, what is going to happen? When we run the package, package will validate itself. So, uh, if uh, mm, this uh, temp table is not going to be available, for this uh, data flow task, uh, what will happen? The package will fail. So first property what we need to set uh, is called uh, delay validation. We can right click here on the uh, control flow pan, go to the package properties and uh, we can set that uh, delay validation uh, property to true. So by doing it, it will not uh, validate uh, if uh, the temp table exists uh, or not uh, on the uh, pre-validation before the package start running and uh, yes it will uh, it will do validation before loading data into the temp table and by the time we will have created the temp table uh, by using the first task the second task uh, as uh, we are creating a temp table and we want to load the data to the same temp table what happened when uh, we use the connection managers in any of the tasks uh, each time uh, it is going to create a new connection uh, to the database. If we create a new connection uh, for uh, creating a temp table that will be closed uh, and uh, the next uh, task will try to load the data to temp table it will not see that temp table. So what we have to do to uh, make this a uh, visible vis visibility or uh, we have to have same uh, transaction uh, what we can do we can go ahead uh, and set the property of this uh, connection manager called retain same uh, connection let me see where it is do i see anything uh, starting with the retain i mean it should be here <laughs> sometime it's hard uh, when you're speaking and uh, um, making the video uh, to see that so right now we are on the connection manager properties and we are looking for retain same connection yeah we got it so here is the property you will set this retain same connection to the true so by doing it uh, what is going to happen now this uh, uh, execute SQL task is going to open a connection where and create a timetable the same connection to the database will be used by the second data flow so that's how they will be able to see the temp table and load the data. So two properties we need to set uh, when uh, we are working with the temp table, creating a temp table and uh, using in different tasks. One, set the delay validation to true. And uh, uh, second, uh, retain same connection to, to true. So we can, uh, um, the, 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 the task can see that uh, uh, temp table because they will be using the same connection to the database. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in next video.